Well, turns don't have to be too close together. Just make sure you don't go over itself. Just keep pulling those fibres back like that. Maintaining pressure all the time. And that's wound into that varnish and it will stick there like the proverbial. You don't need to go right to the front. About an eighth of an inch back will do. Like that. Up with the silk and down, around the front with the silk and down, and really you can cut that off. There's no need for it anymore. Pull the fibres back that are all loose and bind the front end down, working back towards the point of the hook. Once you've gone down there a while, you can just keep building that up a little like that until you've got a nice neat head and you can see all the fibres pointing backwards. quick brush basically that's it big chunk of varnish on that seals everything together and it runs into the rest of the fibers gluing it all together and that basically is a scud so we'll whip finish that as long as you like but twice minimum there you go all that needs to be done now is to add eyes and finish the head we need six mil eyes for this so we'll look for some six mil eyes Some little six mil eyes. And the position for the eyes is just there, just behind the head. Now I stick these on, I use this stuff, it's Yoohoo Power Glue. Um, you can use quite a lot of this. big blob on the side of the fly like that. No need to be too tidy. Position it where you like. And there you've got it. Once it's dry, stick the other side on. And then we go over to the UV light. Cover it all in resin. Dry it off. And there's your finished fly. And there's a tiger stripe version. You can stripe it with a pen. Do them in any colour you like. Blue's really good. And you can see how the head finishes up into a cone shape, even though you're starting with it like that. An absolute double. While we're waiting for the eyes to dry on that fly, I'll just explain a bit more about mixing these colours together. If we take a little piece of, let's say, this is thin yellow. This is phosphor. Small amount of each. Lay the ends together. This is Wembley Green. a little bit of something darker like this. Have a little green. Just a touch of that, not so much. Keep the ends together. Just roll them around a little in your fingers. Keep hold of that end. Airbrush. 
Drag them on your knee like this. Pull down to the other end. Stroke them again with the brush. So you do tend to lose quite a bit of your fibers. But then you end up with a really nice olive green colour. If you can see that. But that's a beautiful colour. If you were to be tying a perch, that would be absolutely fantastic. Lovely. A bit strange to see under this light, but. There you go. Right, we'll get on with finishing the head. Of... Right, we'll get on with finishing the head of this fly. We've got our UV resin. Now this stuff's got a little brush in it, which is okay for a while, and it's great for spreading out the stuff. But when you get down with your bottle, and there's not much left in it. One of these wooden coffee stirrers, Burger King or McDonald's or wherever, you can pick one of the two of these things up. See, once it's been used a while, it goes nice and hard on the end. Basically what I do, I use the lid of an old pot to stop my brush running off the side of the bench. Dip the spatula in there, and you can see you get a big glob of the stuff, and just stick it on there. Now you can spread that around as much as you like. It pays to fill big gaps up with it first, right between the eyes, over the top. Expose it to the light. And just those few seconds is enough to cure that so it's hard. Turn the fly over. Same thing. Big blob of stuff on that. Spread that around a little. Doesn't matter about it going into the fibres at all. That scruffy appearance is kind of what you're after really. So I just bring the camera in a bit there. There we go. Get in there. Any stray fibres pointing out where you don't want them, you can just snip them off like that. Spread a bit more blue pump. right under the light. Now if you leave them under there for about half an hour they'll be rock solid. Pays to turn them every now and again, every few minutes. And there you go. Really easy. Enjoy. Brilliant over the weed. Don't be in a hurry to pull it back. Little short jerks. Try and get this sort of effect. You can keep it out there for ages and when they have that, boy do they muller it. Happy Christmas. See you again soon.